Mighty, I just seen a bird fly somewhere over there in the sky. There it is. I see it. Soon we'll be flying. Freer than a bird, actually. We're gonna be caught up in the twinkling of an eye. Yeah, we'll have so much freedom. Man, it's gonna be such a blessing. It already is a blessing. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, brethren, family, brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. How I truly do wish and desire that I could explain the power, the awesomeness, the real good news of the gospel. How truly good of news it is. Brother William Tenno did an excellent job here. And I'm going to read this for the people. Brethren, Jesus loves you. The gospel of Evangelion. And look at the awesome grass right there. Good God Almighty, look what God creates. It's amazing. Just imagine what's in heaven. I can only imagine. Remember that song? Yeah. All right. So the gospel of Evangelion. Evangelion that we call the gospel is a Greek word and signifieth good, merry, glad, and joyful tidings that make the man's heart glad and make him sing, dance, and leap for joy. As when David had killed Goliath, the giant, came glad tidings unto the Jews that their fearful and cruel enemy was slain, and they delivered out of all danger. For gladness whereof they sung, danced, and were joyful. In like manner is the Evangelion of God, which we call gospel, and the New Testament, joyful tidings, and as some say, a good hearing published by the apostles. Throughout all the world, of Christ the right David, how that he hath fought with sin, with death and the devil, and overcome them, whereby all men that were in bondage to sin, wounded with death, overcome of the devil, are without their own merits or deservings, loosed, justified, restored to life, and saved, brought to liberty, and reconciled unto the favor of God and set out one with him again, which tidings, as many as believe, loud praise and thank God, are glad, sing and dance for joy. Emmanuel, God is with us. With Evangelion is called a testament. This Evangelion or gospel that is to say such joyful tidings is called the New Testament, because that as a man when he shall die appointeth his goods to be dealt and distributed after his death among them which he nameth to be his heirs. Even so Christ, before his death, commanded and appointed that such evangelion, gospel, or tidings should be declared throughout all the world, and therewith to give unto all that believe all his goods, that is to say, his life, wherewith he swallowed up, that is to say, his life, wherewith he swallowed and devoured up death, his righteousness, wherewith he banished sin, his salvation, wherewith he overcame eternal damnation. Now can the wretched man that is wrapped in sin and is in danger to death and hell hear no more joyous a thing and such glad and comfortable tidings of Christ. So they cannot so they cannot but be glad and laugh from the low bottom of his heart if he believe the tidings are true. And I'll put all this in the description if you want or in the you know description of the comments area. Jesus loves you all, brethren. Very, very much. I don't have much time left to talk because of the time of my phone. Gotta screw up some memory. Jesus is about to come, brethren. And you know bodily exercise profit a little, but God is profitable unto all things. So trust in Jesus, brethren, he's about to come. And uh, John 3, 16, memorize that. First Corinthians 51, 4, share it every day because we're about to go home and enjoy what time we have left. Please pray for the saints in Africa. May God strengthen them to staunch Ted Faust. The full armor of God Almighty, Yote Vafi. And everybody, please read Isaiah chapter 53, the passions and sufferings of Christ.